Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilma again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you very much for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to reach some of you who haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on augmented reality and specifically I'm going to do AR Kit version 3. I want to show you how AR Foundation works in Unity. I want to show you some of the examples that they have and I start with face tracking to begin with. So let's jump into Unity and I start looking at it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing. And, and to start with, I just want you to know that we're gonna be using a lot of the examples that Unity provided, which is called AR Foundation samples. And this is something that you can download from the GitHub repository under Unity Technologies AR Foundation samples. So what I'm gonna be doing, we're gonna be looking at this repository as a reference and then meanwhile we're going to be building our own repository so that you can clone any you know any new example that we created anything that we do will basically pro all basically provide that information via via the description of this video and you can also clone that repository so if you didn't know what this was this basically just contains different examples and we can use them like i said as a reference as we do work in air kit version 3. so what I'm gonna be doing is I already clone it. If you haven't cloned it, it's as simple as just basically click clone or just download it as a zip file and then basically open it in Unity. The, the version of Unity that they are requiring right now, and I don't think it's a requirement, but the project is built with that version, which is the latest one, is 2019.1.5 F1. So I'm using the Unity Hub and I have multiple versions. So I opted from using the exact same version that they have just so that we you know, we don't lose any any features or or anything that they might require. So make sure that you do that, you download that first. And then once you have that and you download the project, you're gonna get basically something like this. And the the project that they have, have a lot of the different examples. It's actually really, really cool. They have US examples, they have simple AR examples, which is basically, basically they show you examples of how to place objects in, in augmented reality, how estimate estimate lighting in augmented reality. Basically, they place props in the environment, ways to check if your device supports the this version of augmented reality, and then and so on. So they have a lot of different things. They have one for human body tracking in 2D, one in 3D, in 3D, and we're gonna be looking at a lot of these as I create more videos. For now, what I wanna do, I wanna get the project set up and also do one example where we're gonna basically be creating a mesh our face using AR Foundation. In previous videos, I did examples of that, but I was using the AR Key plugin that Unity provided. I have never used AR Foundation, so I'm gonna be learning with you as we go along. I'm gonna be using this as a reference to build the, you know, to learn and also build a lot more examples for you guys and also for myself. So let's go ahead and, and get started. So I'm going to be looking at what this contains. So I'm gonna go into the package manager and see which version this project has so that we can build or on. Let me go ahead and pull that back up. And let's see, so they, they're using ARKit XR plugin, which is the version 2.2.0. ARKit face tracking is also installed. So, so what I'm gonna do instead of going one by one, one good trick that I can show you is if you go into packages, reveal in finder, we're gonna basically find a manifest file and that's the one that I'm gonna be using for, you know, to build a new project. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and create a new project before I, I look at that file. So I'm gonna leave this one open and I'm gonna create a new project. And this project is gonna be also, it's also gonna be 3D and I'm just gonna name it just to follow the same standards of the other projects that I created. This one is gonna be called Unity AR Foundation essentials and like I said I'm gonna be putting that in github and I'm just gonna click on create while that is creating I'm gonna open let's see VS code and we're gonna be just getting things going so this one is looking at my game I don't want to open my game I want to open the AR foundation example so that we can copy the file that contains all the requirements going to packages and then the manifest. So this is basically everything that they have in that project. So if I look at this, the things that we're gonna need are going to be 
basically anything related to XR. It's what we're going to need. And we're not going to need, I'll look and see what it gets created with the other one, but I don't believe we're going to need, I think this is going to be part of the core installation and creation of the project. So we're just going to leave this open and then let's go ahead and see if our other project got created. looks like it did get created. So we're good to go. We got a, we got a very basic project. And then I think for this scene, we're going to, I'm going to be organizing this so that you guys can download it. So this one is going to be face tracking. And not only face tracking, we're going to be also creating a mesh. So let's just call it, call it face tracking mesh. And we can rename it as we go, as we go through this, basically this process. And then I'm going to be creating a new, a new folder. Let's go ahead and create a folder. This one is going to be called scripts. And then I can look and see what's in this packages directory. So let me go ahead and open another version of code. So let me go ahead and pull the terminal and let me go into my code folder. And this is where my prototypes are games. And let's see, I want to go to Unity and the project that I just created is called AR Foundation Essentials. There we go. And let's go ahead and do code that to open it up. There we go. Now we have two versions of code open so we can go back and forth between those two. I'm going to go into my manifest and it looks like this is what I wanted to check to make sure that it was part of the core build of the project and it looks like XR is already installed. Okay, so it looks like that it's good and I'm going to leave this one open. It's going here and, and there's many ways that you can do this. You can go into the project ma manager and, and basically down the package manager and basically, you know, select each of them independently and install it. I, I'm going to just do it this way. And I think, I think this way just makes more sense. So I don't miss anything and I don't think I need anything else there. And I think we're good. Awesome. So just going to save these changes, go back into Unity, and let's just give it a little bit of time until it brings in all those changes. And let me make sure that those changes did take effect. And it's loading. Let's see. And I'm getting notifications from something else, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I don't, I don't think it got installed. Let me, let me go back and make sure that my manifest that I updated is the is the is the right manifest and let's see yep this is the right manifest let me go ahead and close the project oh there we go now now I detected a change I think I wasn't I wasn't patient let's wait until everything gets resolved excellent so what that is what that's going let's go ahead and open on the the other project so we're going to be looking at basically creating a mesh so if i go into scenes and i'm i'm not familiar with the air foundation as much but i am familiar with air kid so a lot of the terminology here i'm pretty sure i'll be able to figure it out and we'll be able to basically build a project all right so the one that i want to do is a face me a face mesh let me say that correctly and there we go so we're gonna need the the way that unity has this is very i watched a video before to make sure that I understood but but it's very straightforward they have everything packaged really well and in this in this case all we're going to need is an AR session looks like they have an AR session they also have an AR input manager and then they're making sure that the target frame rate is set, is set to 60 frames per second so we're gonna we're basically gonna follow that same pattern and then I think all of these should be I don't need a uh, face information for now I think all we're going to need is the AR session origin, the AR face manager, and we're going to have to create a prefab. I looked at this prefab before and it was very simple. Basically contains an AR face, a visualizer, a mesh render with a filter, and then a material. So we'll be able to replicate that pretty easily in the other project. So let's go ahead and go back to the other project and it looks like we're good there. So what I'm going to do is delete everything that we got, we have here. And we're going to be basically studying from, from scratch. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to right click in here. And if everything works, we should have the XR option. And it looks like we do have the XR option. And then we're going to click on AR session. And you're going to see that, that it's creating basically what we saw on the other project. Let me, let me go ahead and change the layout here. 
this is the layout that I use, but I think it makes more sense if I follow the default layout. There we go. Okay, so we have our AR session, and that has the two components that we we needed for the other project. The the other one that we're gonna need is if we right click XR and then click on XR, then click on AR session origin. You're gonna see that we're gonna get now a, a game object that has everything configured for us. So it's gonna have the AR session origin with the AR camera, and also it's going to have an AR camera attached to it. So that's great. Let's go ahead and look at creating a prefab now. So I'm gonna create a new folder, and then default, this folder is gonna be called prefab, just to make sure that we follow the standards. And I'm just gonna create a new, basically a new game object. So I just got, let's go ahead and create it in the hierarchy. Right click here. And this one is gonna be our face mesh. And we can call it, yeah, I think that, I think that works. All right, and if you remember the, the options that that one had, if I go back into the prefab, is that it had a, a AR face and also AR face mesh visualizer. So let's go ahead and add those. So I'm gonna do AR, AR face, and you can see that it's really easy because everything is just labeled pretty well. And then also a mesh visualizer. I remember it had a mesh filter, so let's add that as well and also a mesh renderer. If we go back, and the last thing that we're gonna need is a material. So instead of me creating a new material, let's go ahead and just copy this material. And this one's called three colors, so we're just gonna re reveal in Finder, and we'll just basically borrow it. And let's just thank Unity for creating that for us. And I'm gonna go into back into games, and yes, I do have a lot of prototypes tons of prototypes okay so let's just create a new folder here new folder we'll just call it materials double click on that folder drop it in there and I don't need this transparent material and looks like that should be good to go let's go back into or prefab let me let me get back to that and there we go so this is what I like the folder structure that unity has and this basically allow us to find things easily Okay, so let's go back to that, and I think that's the only thing that I needed. Okay, let's go back into Unity, and go into our face mesh game object, and I'm gonna just, just assign it that new material, which we call, I think it was called tree color, which hasn't loaded yet, it looks like. There we go, oh, there we go. It looks like it needs a, it needs a shader, so let's go ahead and find that shader, and there we go, which is also called tree color, so let's go ahead and I think it's called, oh, okay, it's just a standard, I see, it's just a standard shader with a tree color texture. Okay, let's go ahead and let's copy that as well. And we don't really need to do this, it's just, it looks cool when we when we run it. I, I just don't wanna see a mesh with, you know, that is a dark gray, it doesn't really have any colors. I think, I, I ran this and it looked pretty cool. So I might as well do it in our, in our project. So I'm gonna go back into our project and go into assets and I'm gonna create a new folder. This folder is gonna be called textures. We're gonna drop this in and let's go back into our project and textures and looks like it should be there. I think the, the settings on it were pretty straightforward. Default to D, okay. And yep, looks like everything is good. And again, if I'm if I'm going too fast, you're you know you're more than welcome to pause the video, watch it again, and you're also gonna get a copy of the source code. So don't worry about, you know, not getting caught up. All right, so I think I got everything I need here. The the other thing that I'm gonna need is the material, which I do have, and now I just need to associate the tree color with the albedo. There we go, now that looks a lot better. Now we can go into our face face mesh. And and it's funny, I haven't really done this before, so I'm just going with, you know, the with the flow. And because a lot of these things I, I, haven't, I haven't really done, other than using a lot of AR kit in the past with other technologies. Okay, so that that looks good. And let's go ahead and go into prefabs and we're gonna create a new prefab. And now I'm just gonna delete the face mesh. Now we can go back into our, let's see, AR session. I think that looks good. And I think that looks good as well. Let's really just look at this other project one more time. So the other thing that we didn't do, we didn't add a AR face manager. And that's what we need to do on the AR session origin. It looks like that, yep. And let's go ahead and add an AR face manager. 
it looks like that takes a prefab, which is going to be the prefab that we just created. And the maximum face count was set to 3. And let's just set it to 3 as well. And I think that's everything that we need for now. Let me make sure that that is correct. And I'm just going to review. One thing that we don't have is lighting, and I, I got rid of lighting. We do need a directional light, and I think that's just a basic a basic light. So let's just create a directional light. And we'll just put it at the top just to follow the same standards. And an event system and a canvas. Just for just for you know consistency, let's just do that. And we might not have any UI in this version, but as I add more to it, we're gonna need it. So let's just follow that and then we're not gonna need anything, anything else. I think I'm good there. And another thing that I need to do before we build this and try it in my device, we're going to need to change the player properties on this. So I'm just going to go into build settings and I'm going to change it to be iOS. And I'm also going to add the current scene so that we build that. So change it to iOS. And before I switch the platform, I'm going to click on player settings and we're going to be looking at changing a couple of parameters. So let's go ahead and close this and, and go to player settings first because we're going to need to change some of those values. The default company, I think we can keep that. And we can say Unity AR Foundation Essentials. I think that's going to be a big, long app name. So let's just call it Let's just call it AR. And then version, I, I like to start with 1.000. And I think everything here looks good. We're going to be, I think all of this looks good. That's one thing that always gets me if I don't set it, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. I think this is all good, and let's see other settings. This one is going to be com.mycompany.ar. Let's just keep it that way. Build number is going to be the same as the version number, and we're going to need to set the camera, the camera usage, because we're going to need, if you go back into this project, I'm pretty sure they have it set, otherwise this wouldn't work is that we'll need access to the camera. And to do that in iOS and when using Unity, you need to basically populate this field. Yep, camera required for AR. I was pretty sure they did that because it's the only way that we're going to get access to the camera. So it doesn't matter what you put in here. You can put any text. It's just required because that's the way that you are going to, the application is going to get requests to the augmented reality, basically to the camera. And I think the version, we're going to need version 11 as the minimum. And I think everything else, everything, we don't have post-processing effects, so we don't need that. And I think we're, we're, we're good here. Let's just do 11. And requires ARK support. I don't know that they, let's see if they did it. They didn't require ARK support and it still works. So I'm not going to worry about it. So I think we're, I think we're good to go to build this application. So, one last thing before before I build it, let me go into see, and I don't have it here, but let's go ahead and, and say to git ignore so that I can get this checking and you basically have everything everything ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an init on git and I'm just gonna copy another git ignore file from another project. And I believe I have one in, let's see, let me see what I have here. I might have one here. I'm pretty sure I have one on almost every every single project. There we go. I'm just going to copy here. And I think we should be good. There we go. So I think we got, yep, we got everything. All right. So let me go ahead and, and get this going in using my phone. So I'm going to build the project. And let me make sure go back to the other project. This is our project. And we also need to change the... Oh, this is the Unity project. Let me go back to the other one. There we go. And I need to go to build settings and we need to change our platform. So we're going to say just switch platform so that we can change it to, to iOS. And a lot of the a lot of people probably will ask me, like, how do you set it up so that you can build to your device? And in that you can follow. I'll, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Um, and what to do, how to set up, how to set up a certificate, how to set up a, provi a provisioning profile, and, and get everything going so that you can test it on your device. So make sure that you follow that link and you check it out because it's really going to simplify that workflow for you. So it looks like we're good to go. And the last thing that I'm going to do is just basically build it. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on build, 
and let's go ahead and I'm gonna put it in my desktop and this one is gonna be face tracking and I'm just gonna yep I think that name works let's go ahead and hit save and I'm going to it's gonna build it. it's gonna take a little bit so I'll just basically continue the video in just a few seconds all right guys so it looks like it's finished creating the binary for us so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open Xcode and in order in Xcode, we're going to be open the latest version, which is the beta version that I downloaded and show you on the on the previous video. So let me go into applications here and find the Xcode beta. So let's double click it. And I have one for face tracking, which is the one that we just created. Yep. So let me just go ahead and double click that. Open it up. And like I said in the in the beginning, make sure that you go through that video where I show you how to set up a, a certificate and a provisioning profile. Otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna be harder for you to get this going. And then right after that, make sure you go to signing and capabilities, and basically assign your team, which will ba will basically look like this when you have it set up correctly and will allow you to build to your device. So you should see your device right there which I see mine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play to build it. And it looks like it's building and installing. So let me go ahead and pull my device. Make sure that you guys can see, can see that as well. There we go. It's launching now. And there we go. And now we can see that my face is, is rendering on the, on the device and you can see that all the meshes everything looks great even the material that we copy from that other project is working really well so just make sure that you download the project from github and and give me give me a start if you can because that's going to help me getting more downloads and getting more people to to look at that repository so thank you very much guys all right guys thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions please let me know also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing tutorials and resources for game developers. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also be sure to check me out on patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. Also early access to source code. So thank you very much guys.